So Durag Bay is taking her braces off today. I'm actually really, 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 really sad. So, no. 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 Yep, 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 yep. Yes, sir. First of all, I got to give a big shout out to every last one of my subscribers. Every last one of you. Literally within the last few days, we went from 5,000 subs to a now 9,000 and I think five subs. Of course, by the time I upload this video, it could be possibly more, but I think that we are going to hit 10K by this weekend which we should. We went from seven to nine K in two days. So because of that, go grab your shot glass, pause this video, go grab your shot glass, go grab your wine glass, go grab your cup, whatever you got, pour up a drink, and here we go. Lady, take a shot for me. Now, today's video is gonna be a little different. Whole different angles, whole different everything, all right? A lot of you guys want to see more aerial footage of the area. You guys want to see the drone. You guys want to see some different angles, different shots, mixing up a little bit. Again, for a lot of you guys that don't know, I went to school for graphic design um, and even took some side courses for photography and film and put it all together. All right. So that's why quality is very important to me. You know what I'm saying? So because of that, Today, I'm going to be showing you guys some different stuff with the drone, all right? We're going to be doing some different shots. I'm going to go out and just have a good time. Listen, find what you love to do and be happy doing it. Fuck all the haters. Fuck all the naysayers. All the people who have negative shit to say online about you traveling here. You do it. Bro, I'm nearly solo dolo. My girl's at work. All my friends then left. You know what I'm saying? So it's just me. So, <clears throat> you got to find happiness. You got to find what you love to do and just do it, bro. Whether you got people here or not. You know what I'm saying? So, because of that, about to go out and have a good time. It's a chill day today, um, which I don't know it to be chill yet or not. I haven't really left the house. Um, do Red Bay got her braces took off today, as you guys saw. <laughs> so, it's, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm back at the crib. And now I'm just like, you know what? I ain't, I ain't took the drone out in a while. So... I'm thinking about taking the drone out and uh, having some fun. All right, so uh, let's get into today's video. I don't know how long it's gonna be. I'm not sure if it's gonna be posted as a premiere or just a regular video. We'll see how much footage we get out of it. But uh, it's a few different beaches I wanna check out. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up with some ideas as I'm walking and talking. So uh, let's grab everything. Oh, and for you guys that are curious, about which drone I use. I use the DJI Mavic Air 2. You know what I'm saying? It's a little compact drone, nothing too, it literally fits in my bag. You know what I'm saying? Very, very simple, small little drone. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the controller, boom. And unfortunately I have to use the cable Sometimes they have controllers. They sent me the wrong controller because I ordered this off of Amazon, I believe. But they sent me the wrong controller. You can put your phone, typically you put your, you pop this up right here and you can put your phone in here and just connect it through a cable. But they didn't have, they didn't come with the cable because they sent me an older model of the controller. So now I'm using just a Type-C to Type-C. So it connects Type-C and I connect Type-C to my phone. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's enough of that. Enough of that tech talk, but if you guys are interested, you can get a drone online. Trust me, this size drone is perfect for travel. Guys, if you're traveling, you need to have a drone. I'm just letting you know that now. You need to have a drone. If you're a content creator, it's almost essential. It's almost like having your toothbrush. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a drone, you gotta have cameras. Of course, quality is everything, right? It's, there's nothing wrong with getting different angles and different looks. But anyways, let's get up out of here, man. I'm gonna grab my glasses. 
grab my keys. And we're ready to hit the road. All right, we'll see you guys when we get there. y'all but i love 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 shooting video and then we can get it from a different perspective bro you're talking about beautiful images i love it man i'm excited to get home just to edit some of these videos bro i don't think you guys realize how how beautiful damn i went too high i don't think you guys realize how beautiful brazil is man uh people ask do you ever get tired of going to the beach do you ever get tired of this and that and this and that honestly bro there's no because every day you wake up with a different energy in a positive way you know what i'm saying and you meet new people every single day and damn look at this big ass lizard look at this shit bro All right, so we got the drone. She ready to go. But like I said, you meet people every day, you see new things every day. It's almost impossible. Ugh. It's almost impossible not to love Brazil and all its beauty. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just think about it. If you were just to sit out here on this ledge, right? This ledge right here. And just take all this in. It's... It's, it's, it, you can't describe it, bro. You cannot describe it. But anyways, guys, if you have not gotten your passport and you you are at the sound of my voice, I'm not even telling you to come to Brazil, but you have to utilize your passport. It unlocks and it takes off so many chains off of your brain, bro. It's rejuvenating. It's so rejuvenating, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fresh, warm sand. The beautiful vibes out here, man. Beautiful vibes. It's a beautiful thing. You can't, you can't, it doesn't compare, bro. You gotta get, you gotta get out here, dog. That's all I'm saying. You have to get out here and experience.
what does happiness look like to you? If happiness to you means getting your passport, flying to a, a different country, and finding your happiness, then do what's best because you only live once, man. I know I made a video about this before. You literally only have one life to live. And sometimes you need that, that scare factor to get you in gear to get on that plane because let everybody else tell it you should be staying in the united states you know what i'm saying and just think about how many people bro come into this world and leave this world and only know the united states my grandparents if my memory serves me correct i don't even think they have passports my grandfather lived to be 90 something years old. My grandma passed away when she was like in her 60s. And I don't think they had passports. I don't think they ever went anywhere outside of the United States. And for the longest, only places I've ever seen them go was locally around town or to Houston or to Dallas or to Louisiana. You know, I don't I don't I don't know if they even had passports. And just imagine living that many years and all you know is the United States bullshit so let this be motivation man to get out and experience something new bro because it's a cold world out there in the states man I'm gonna just tell you that and if you think that that is living 